Hi there. Many people are asking, how can I raise my confidence? This is one of the biggest questions asked on various platforms. It's not as hard as we think. And my video is going to help you. You ready? Let's go. Find something you cannot afford to pay for. Tap into it. I'm Tammy C. Walker, and I create videos and content to encourage you. My hope, my prayer is that my trials and tribulations that I've gone through and overcame will also help you. Today, we want to talk about five hacks on how to raise your confidence. Many people, they'll say, I have low self-esteem, I have low confidence, but it's a very important factor involved in all of this. You have to ask yourself the root of the problem. How did I begin to have this low confidence? It can come from many factors, many things. As a therapist, as a social worker, the more and more I talk to various clients, our childhood plays one of the most important parts in our life until age 100 or till we pass. So does your low confidence come from how you were raised were you told you're not good enough, smart enough, pretty enough, you're too thin, you're too fat, you're goofy, you're stupid? Was this some of the reason why you are feeling like you lack confidence and self-esteem? Now, if that is the case, it is something that you want to seek out a professional over and get to the root of it and kill those negative thoughts that were put into your head as a child, even if you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, watching this video, you still are playing that record that was played for you as a child. You have to reverse that thinking because the truth of the matter is you are enough, you're smart enough, you're pretty enough, you're the right size, but because that was programmed into your mind as a young child, it stayed. Okay, some people were raised that way but they go against the grain. They're like, oh no, you're not gonna be able to call me stupid. You're not gonna call me dumb. They go hard and they make sure they make a liar out of whoever told them that. Are you lacking confidence because you've been in an abusive relationship or a relationship where someone mistreated you or made you feel like you don't matter? When the truth of the matter is, you always matter and it's all about you. When you have that self-love inside that's going to propel you to higher heights. You're going to be able to be in a healthy relationship. You will know having a partner does not complete you, that you're already happy, you already have joy, you already have peace, you already have love. And that person, <laughs> they need to step into your world and be happy to be with you. Just like we should be happy to be with somebody great. But you always have to love yourself first. Let me tell you a, a little secret. People are fickle. They'll love you one day and run out on you the next. And it could be the best people, at least you think they are best looking, people that have treated you great, but we're all human, we're all flawed. So that's where that self-love, that self-preservation, um, that's where that comes in. So you got to have self-love and you have to get to the root of what is causing the lack of confidence. Let me tell you a third thing. We are what we think, we get what we feel, we, we desire and believe. And when I say this, people get mad and they try to, you know, fight with me with words. Or, but wait a minute, I, that's not true. But trust me, again, when I do these videos, it's because I've done stuff. I used to think negative. I was always a happy girl growing up age, whatever, until 17, 18. Got married at 22, almost 23. The, the relationship was toxic and abusive, and it just weighed on me. So by the time I got to my divorce, bam, there goes the fear, anxiety, negative thinking, like waiting on the other shoe to drop. This was 1999 when I got my divorce. 
2001, two, three, four. I'm still waiting on the shoe to drop. I know these relationships are not going to work. They did not. I know these jobs are going to lay me off because I started getting laid off. They kept laying me off. I know my car is going to break down. It did. And by 07, I had cancer. Tammy, are you saying that maybe you brought the cancer on? Yes, because I was always tense. I was always anxious. I was always thinking the worst. And perhaps I brought that to me holding on to stress. So I don't want you to do that. Watch what you think about. I am great. I am beautiful. I am wonderful. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am whole. I am complete. I am love. I am joy. I am peace. I am wealth. We have to pump these good thoughts in our head. Do not tell me you don't think negative. You do. If there's a lot of bad stuff is happening to you, nine times out of ten, it's some doubt there. And you are saying, this is probably not going to happen. I don't really deserve a good wife. I don't deserve a good man. I don't deserve that promotion. I'm never going to get married. That's why I don't have kids. Because I do it sometimes. I don't say never, but I talk negative at times too. And I have to really make sure I stay focused on my positive talk because I already know in the end I'm going to win all is well where there's a will there's a way there's more than one way to skin a cat so you have to get out of that negative self-talk I do three tools and I wanted to share those with you and I'll be putting the pictures up for you one big thing that I do is I use vitamins and I've been using vitamins for years People get sick, have the flu, this and that. I almost never get a cold. I may have allergies. I may have a little sinus issue. If I take off work, it's because generally so maybe something wrong with my stomach. I do not get colds. I take a B12, which helps me with my energy. B12 helped me when I was going through chemotherapy and my feet were falling asleep and my you know, fingers were getting numb and my feet. The B12 got the blood circulating, and gives me energy. When I was in school, when I had to go to school after work, I pop a B12 before class. It revitalized me. Get you some B12. It will really help you if you're low on energy. Also, I take a vitamin D. B D, I believe it's three. Because my vitamin D tends to be low, up and down. Go outside, get in the sun, and make sure you wear your sunscreen. I don't want you getting skin cancer. But um, take a vitamin D, as in dog. African-American women are known to have low vitamin D, so you definitely want to invest in that. And I take a probiotic because when I had chemo, it really messed with my gut and I had trouble digesting some food that I wasn't having trouble with. So now I just make sure I put the probiotic in my diet every day. I also take a multivitamin from doTERRA. I'm such a fortunate lady. I had a dear friend who had taken ill and she wasn't able to use those vitamins anymore. She gave me hundreds of dollars of vitamins and I'm still taking them so get you a nice multivitamin if you don't want to spend a lot of money uh, alive that's a good one I would say Geritol because I took that years ago but it does create it, it will make you fertile so if you're having trouble getting pregnant you might want to get some Geritol ladies um, but Geritol gives you great energy I can't take it because iron doesn't work well with a breast cancer survivor so if my breast cancer survivors are watching, stay away from iron. But um, Geritol is a really good one. Liquid Geritol used to really give me energy. But it's also a lot of nice multivitamins that don't cost a lot. If you're willing to spend a little bit more money, go to GNC or Fruitful Yield or the vitamin shop. They're, they're in Illinois. I bet you they're where you are. And get a vitamin pack. They'll help you. They're generally $39 a box. But it's a 30-day supply, and it's a pack of vitamins that will just give you energy all day. So that's something I swear by is my vitamins. Also, I juice. So lately, I've been doing spinach, cucumber, cucumber, and <laughs> blueberry. And I put a little filter water in there, blend it in, and drink it in the morning. Ritual is make my coffee, take my vitamins a little bit later before my shower, make my juice. Gives me instant energy. It's very healthy for you. If you don't want to eat a lot of salads and your veggies, you're getting them by drinking that juice. 
I have an oyster blender, $25 at Target. It comes in turquoise, hot pink, red, and some other colors. Don't spend $400, $300, $200 if you don't want to. Go spend $25 and get your oyster like I have. Also, in addition to my vitamins and my juicing, I'm a huge journaler. I've been journaling since 1998. So you will see all of my journals that I have, which I have way more, but I just want to show them to you. So at the end of this video, you will see my vitamins, you will see my oyster, and you will see my journal. So I just want you to feel good about yourself. I want you to be confident. And if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe because people are checking me out, but they're forgetting to subscribe. And hit the bell if you want to see other content that's coming and hit like. I really need those likes so I can get my video circulating. And share, share, share if you know someone going through depression, low self-esteem, maybe an illness. I hope something I said today inspires you. Be confident, be strong, and find out the root of the lack of confidence and reverse that thing. I believe in you. I wouldn't do these videos if I didn't. Tammy C. Walker, Life Coach, Therapist, Social Worker. Hit subscribe and like. Bye.